it gives me great pleasure to um, speak to particularly the sixth years, but to all students in the school at this particular difficult time. I can appreciate that with the unsureness of everything that's happening around us, that um, you're quite unsure as to what's going to happen in the coming year. Um, and that's very, very difficult for you. I would like to give you a sense of confidence that whatever happens will be good. And I remember you when you came in in the first year. I remember you small. I remember you nice young men. I remember you unsure, some of you quite confident. And for many of your mothers, there was a great sense of anxiety because they felt more the anxiousness about you coming in here than you felt yourself. You were young people on a journey, happy. And I watched you through the years and I said to you that first, that first day, and I said to your parents before that, that you can achieve all the things you wish to achieve. You can be an excellent rugby player, you can be an excellent mathematician, you can be excellent at languages, you can be excellent at whatever it might be, whatever other sport. But if you leave here, St. Vincent's Castanac College, without a good heart, then we have failed you. And I have watched you grow through the years and across the shaky bridge periods of later in second year into third year, where you were unsure of yourselves and perhaps there may have been moments at home where there was uh, clashes between you and your parents, normal. Uh, but as you move on now, I can see each of you in my mind's eye and I can see how you have grown up to be wonderful young people. And you've also grown up to be people with good hearts. This is something that St. Vincent de Paul always tried to instill in his priests and in the people he met, most of whom would have been the people he worked with, the poor. And since you came to Castanac College, you, you have worked very hard in all sorts of charities and all sorts of ways to show that you have good hearts. You will leave here, you will move on, that's for sure. You will do well in your leaving cert whenever that happens, or however that happens. And you will find yourself in college next year. And I would ask you to bring the Vincentian value with you as you move into college or wherever you go to. Be the sort of person that you always wanted to be. Be the sort of person that maybe I have never been able to be. Be the sort of person who has a care and a love particularly for the poor. And as you become older and you take up management positions, be the sort of person who looks after the people in the basement. That's who we are as Vincentians. And when I think of you, I think of you with great affection. And when I see you, I can see the extraordinary ways you have grown up to be to be absolutely wonderful almost all of you not quite but almost all of you to be wonderful to be fabulous young men so whatever happens in the next while we don't know but one thing for sure it will be okay and i would ask you as you go and continue on your journey to do what you can 
to work hard, particularly with the staff uh, on the internet. Do what you can. Now I've heard word that some of you are um, not getting up out of bed too early in the morning. And I'd like to encourage you guys to get up your laurels and to begin doing some serious work. I speak to your parents when I say to them, um, you have been so good to your children. You have given them everything almost that they wanted. You have cared for them and you deserve from them and particularly from the six years and right through the school, you deserve from them um, attention, help, so that it won't be like the fourth year here whom I asked to hoover the chapel at one stage and he said, um, I don't hoover. And I looked at him and I said, you know, hoover the chapel. And he said, um, I don't hoover. And I said, I'll be back in a few minutes and, and have it hoover with that. And when I came back, he was standing by the vacuum and nothing was being hoovered. So I said, this is a great opportunity for you to learn something new. He was in fourth year, and you can't guess who he was. And so his mother came to me at a later stage, and she said to me, look, she says, he's hoovering all over the place at home. I can't stop him from hoovering. And such is the enthusiasm and the vitalism and the, the um, joy that I love to see in you as you come to the school. And when we do our morning uh, fist to fist, um, it's an act of solidarity. It's an act of friendship. It's an act of working together and showing that we respect each other. I can easily say that if I could be your grandfather, I would be very pleased to be the grandfather of at least most of you because you're worth it. If I go down to the house and speak to the third years, I say to you, you have exams coming up as well. Don't be too worried about them, but work consistently. Try to work every day and do the work given to you by the staff. And you guys are developing good hearts. And to have that good heart as a third year shows your maturity and your willingness to get involved in as, as many activities as possible. As you move into fourth year, St. Vincent de Paul Society, the God Squad, you name it, there's so many other organizations to get involved in. To the first years you're beginning and have nearly a year over. And I thank you for, for trying and for becoming part of all that is in the ethos of St. Vincent's College here in Castlenock. You are special young men and it would be lovely to see in five years' time you becoming like our present six years, for they're a great example. Six years, do your best. Don't get too worried. Relax, enjoy, have fun, not too much. Study. And whenever the appropriate time comes, then we'll all meet together again to prepare, help prepare you for your exams. In conclusion, I'd like to invite you, if you would enter into a silence with me, please. Um, all of you who are listening to this, 
so that I might say a prayer and ask God's blessing on you, young men, on your parents, on your families, on the staff, on the priest community, and on all of us, especially at this particular time, and also to pray for the sick. I invite you to close your eyes. Lord Jesus, you are the Prince of Peace. Enter into our hearts that we may be filled with fire of love, the fire which was St. Vincent's, of love for the poor. Help us to be confident in what we are doing. Help us to hear your call personally. Draw us to the Father and to Mary, the Mother of God. And I ask you, Lord Jesus, that we might truly, truly believe as a Christian and Catholic community that you call us to love each other. We make this our prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen.